Welcome to our lecture online. Now there's another type of galaxy, not because necessarily its structure, but because its activity. There's some galaxies that are called active galaxies, and they're active galaxies because there's something unusual going on, typically at the center of the galaxy. And this unusual thing is usually associated with a massive black hole. Now, let's take a look and see what we have up here. So, Typically, what we call active galaxies are galaxies that have an active nucleus. And notice the difference in the, if the radiation that we get from a galaxy. Here's what we have a normal intensity curve. So on the vertical axis, we can call this intensity at the various wavelengths. And for a normal galaxy, they range typically from infrared to UV because most of the light that we get from normal galaxies normal galaxies is from stars and stars typically put energy out at the infrared at the visible light and at uv and you can see that it drops off quite quickly after infrared to microwave and radio wave and it drops pretty quickly after uv because no higher energies are being emitted by stars they typically fall in that range but when you look at the intensity curve of an active galaxy notice that it puts out all wavelengths at a much higher intensity than any of the wavelengths from a normal galaxy because that unusual activity at the center produces all kinds of radiation including microwaves, radiation, uh, radio, uh, including UV and even x-rays at fairly high quantities. So you can see that active galaxies are unusual not because of their shape, because of the activity putting out a lot more intensity radiation especially at the far range wavelengths of radio wave, microwave and x-ray which is not typical for a typical normal galaxy. Also what we find is that the intensity tends to fluctuate over time and here's an example of a galaxy that over a time period of maybe 20 years you can see that there's been continuous changes, drastic changes in the intensity coming from the radiation of such a galaxy which means that whatever is happening at the center of the galaxy tends to be well not a steady state condition but a continuously varying condition and that happens a lot when you have an active black hole at the center that the amount of energy released by that black hole depends upon and not by the black hole itself but by the activity around the black hole that is not a steady state condition but that's always changing as matter is getting pulled in and accretion disks are being generated so we'll get into more details of that later and then what we want to understand is that when we talk about active galaxies we have various subtypes of active galaxies and the three major subtypes are the Seifert galaxies, the radio galaxies, and I guess I should put an S here, and quasars. So we're going to have separate videos talking about the details of those three different kinds of active galaxies in a little bit more detail. But again, when you hear active galaxy, it's a general term used for all the various galaxies that tend to have black holes at the center where unusual activity occurs. But the way it occurs and to what extent it occurs will then put it into a subdivision. And we'll talk about the details of why we have the three subdivisions and what the differences are between them. So stay tuned and we'll show you how that's done on the next videos to come.